I've been waiting for this opportunity to jump in with my man, Terry Fontenot, for a while. We've had a chance to visit a couple times, Terry, and you're such a genuine guy, and we're, we're looking forward to talking with you this afternoon. You've talked about um, philosophy and vision as to what you want this thing to look like, how this thing is supposed to take shape. If you would elaborate on that a little bit, and where does that come from? You worked with one of the best in the business and Mickey Loomis, I know. There's been other people that have helped shape you as well. Yeah, I have worked with some really good people and, and I've, I've worked for one of the best, like you said, and also even people that I hadn't worked for, just looking at how they operate and what they focus on and what's important. And makeup is the, is the most important thing. And, and when I say makeup, I'm talking about personal character, football character, I'm talking about who those individuals are. And it really has to start with that. Whether you're talking about players, coaches, people in the building, just like when we're going through this process, and I know when Arthur did all the work on the coaches he brought in, when I did all the work on the people that I was able to bring in, and it starts with the makeup, and that's what it's gonna start with with the players. We have to make sure we have the right human beings with the right mindsets and the right character. Then you're gonna assess the skill set. Then you're gonna look at the fit, and, and if, if, if they fit what you're looking for in terms of their skill sets, but it's always gonna start with the makeup because having the right people in the, on the bus, having the right people in the building, that's the most important thing. People that are helping you put this thing together and what this equation is going to look like. What are you looking? What were you looking for when you began to put? And I, there's probably still some additions net to be made. But when you're putting that group together, I think a lot of people think, okay, everybody's like-minded, and so we're all in the same room. I know you. You like to have maybe someone that's going to say, hey, I don't know if we should look at it a different way. Where are you as far as aligning those two thought patterns together? That's a good point. The last thing you want is groupthink. You don't want people that are gonna look at things the same way that you look at them. You want people that are gonna have different ideas and different philosophies. So it's not about how, how I've done things or how the Falcons have done things or this individual has done things. We're gonna move forward, make sure we have the right process for us, like our right process. So you want people with different ideas and people that are gonna be honest with you and, and you wanna be able to listen to those people. So. It starts with that. It starts with making sure they have the right makeup, they're the right people for the jobs, and you want to get people from different places with different ideas. We have coaches from a lot of different areas and they're involved in this entire process, but including myself, we have to drop our egos and make sure we have an open mind and, and we're looking at having doing things the right way and doing it the Falcons way, the way we're going to do things moving forward. It's an ever evolving process, isn't it? Because you never, it's, it, I think I've always heard that whenever you talk to someone that's in personnel, that's never changing. It's always kind of evolving. Uh, what you think about this particular team has to have some tie to the future, correct? Yeah, it's it's fluid, it's it's ever changing. You have to have that mindset in regarding because we have to adapt. You just look at this year, this has been the year of adaptation. We all have to adapt and just adjust in the process and make sure that we're still getting all the critical information that we need so we can make those well-informed decisions. Conversations you and Arthur have had about scheme, about how you want to attack both offensively and defensively. Take us behind the window or behind the curtain a little bit and talk to us a little bit about how those conversations gone as you begin to blend your ideas together as to what this team's going to look like. We've had a lot of those conversations, not only with Arthur, but with, with Dave Ragone regarding the offense, Marquise Williams regarding special teams and DMPs regarding uh, the defense. And it's really fun having those conversations. You look at a guy like DMPs and all the great players he's coached and, and Marquise and, and, uh, and Dave, they're really smart guys, really intelligent, just like the head coach is. So it's fun having those conversations of, of exactly what they need. And we're gonna have more of those conversations with, with the scouting staff, pro staff, college staff, them saying, hey, this is the profile of what we're looking for at this position. And now that being said, we, all, we also understand that we're looking for smart, tough, highly competitive football players th that with the right makeup, but also with the right skill set. So we're looking for good players. And it's about getting the right 53. So our coaches understand that, hey, we're gonna go find some good athletes and, and let's figure out a way to utilize them. And we know our coaches are gonna maximize them. So there's that balance of, hey, let's, let's find players that fit what we're looking for, but we're also looking for good football players. And that's what's important.